So pouring your heart on social media is never an easy thing to do. And it's, it's, we all know social media has a life of its own. Once something is out there, it's out there. Then you can take it back. I do not intend to take anything back that I said. In fact, I need to add. Thank you to those who responded, those who encouraged, those who shared how they felt, those who shared uh, the same sentiment, saying that they had been quiet for too long and they feel that they need to say something too. We all arrive at a certain conviction, different ways and different times. I feel that my time has arrived and this is why I am speaking. I feel that I am not trying to get anyone else to do what is not comfortable or what they feel they are not ready to say or do. But at the end of the day, we all know that we have a problem. We have a huge problem in Zimbabwe. We have tried to, to, to squash this problem. We have tried to ignore this problem. We have tried to wish it away. We have tried to, um, you know, say say all these things, imagine all these things, um, so that this problem maybe will just disappear and maybe things will get better, maybe things will be uh, better, but it's not happening. And I'll tell you why it's not happening. It's not happening because you and I need to do something about it. It's not happening because we have been watching. Now that we, we are saying something, you, you, you're seeing how the government is responding. Today they just issued a ban on all demonstrations in Zimbabwe for the next two weeks, or maybe it's indefinitely. It's more or less putting an, uh, a, a state of emergency uh, in the capital of city of Harare. People are no longer allowed to express themselves for the next two weeks. Why is that happening? Who knows? A lot of things are happening in Zimbabwe. We all know that. We as Zimbabweans know that a lot of pieces are moving. But at the end of the day, I will tell you why I am standing up. Why I am standing up to say enough is enough. We have had enough. We have been watching for 36 years. What more do you want us to do? I will tell you why I am standing up on my two feet. Nobody's telling me what to do or how to do it. I'm standing up for my brothers and sisters. I went to Zimbabwe in 2008. I'm not saying that's the only time I've been to Zimbabwe. I, I go frequently to Zimbabwe. But I went to Zimbabwe in 2008. And those who were in Zimbabwe in 2008 understand what I'm talking about. That is not something that we, we can afford to have happen again in Zimbabwe. I, I, I saw unimaginable suffering of people. People were suffering. And with the pending of the bond notes coming, um, we, we know we are headed for that direction. And not only are we headed for the 2008 scenario, we are also headed for 2008 plus the political unrest. The political unrest because we know there is no stability in Zimbabwe. We know our president... We know that our president right now, you know, the rumors circulate every year that, you know, I think we've killed President Mugabe over 200 times before. And, um, uh, you know, that, that, that really is not our problem. Our problem is the minute President Mugabe dies and all those vouchers come out. I can't even imagine what's going to happen in Zimbabwe when all, when all those power hungry people start killing each other and coming in the open and intentionally now fighting each other to, to take a piece of, of Zimbabwe. Where and what is going to happen to us, the regular people? What's going to happen to the ordinary people? Who is going to remember them while the people, are, while the people at the top are fighting for the crumbs? I'm, 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 I'm so scared. I, I really, I am so scared for my nation. I'm scared for Zimbabwe. I'm scared for my brothers and sisters who are on the ground. What we want 
in Zimbabwe, what we want as people is to be allowed to say what we want to say peacefully. We want to to be able to demonstrate when a government starts clamping down and, and, and just squashing and not allowing people to say it, it is indeed a, um, a recipe for disaster. How can the government continue to, 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 to tell people you can't not express yourself? We know over 70 people were arrested over the last demonstrations. And we know that the good intended people who wanted to do their demonstrations, it all got mixed up with the people who wanted to loot, including the soldiers who were caught on camera looting. This is what happens when a government has lost control. This is why we are saying our government has lost control. It has lost control of governing. It, the, we do not have a head of state. Where is the head of state right now? Nobody knows. There's a lot of speculation on the on the internet of as to where the the head of state is. When a country starts speculating and not understanding where their head is, there's a problem. Since yesterday, when he left suddenly from 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 um, um, Swaziland and people were tracking his plane to Dubai and possibly Singapore and no way has come out from the government to 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 settle the people and let them know and let make them understand that the head of the state is okay and all this speculation is going on I know we have killed Mugabe 200 times before but this this what is happening right now is what creates the unrest. There is no communication from the government. The government does not communicate with these people. They leave us to speculate and, and, and say all these things. But that creates unrest. All we are trying to do as citizens is to build our nation. We want to be able to build our nation we want we just want to be citizen builders we have a lot of knowledge that we we are masked from wherever we are even if it's little things even if it's uh, me contributing to 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 educating um, or contributing to helping um the the little kids that are coming up to understand and how to express themselves those are little things that we want to be able to do so we can build our nation so we can have a Zimbabwe that we want, not a Zimbabwe that somebody else wants for us. This will not stop until we get an answer. We need an answer.